if you're like me, occasionally it's nice to have one of these Rustler's microwavable burgers, uh, particularly if I'm messing around with the car or something and just want something quick. Uh, <laughs> they're probably not very good for you. Um, but I've found that heating these up leads to several problems, mostly uh, that the uh, bottom layer goes all mushy and is the temperature of the surface of the sun. Um, so I've come up with a, a better way to heat these things and I thought I'd share it. So for uh, those of you that haven't experienced a Rustler's Burger, this is what you get in the set. You get this sort of sauce, um, what purports to be cheese, um, the burger base top and a couple of pre-cooked um, burger patties. So, um, best way to go about heating this is as follows. First of all, only put a very small amount of the uh, sauce on the uh, bottom uh, bun. This stuff has got water in it and it gets red hot and it'll make the base soggy so either put none on or only a little bit and then put your first burger on there and then I put the remainder of the sauce or as much as you like uh, on the uh, on that burger there then we put the uh, second burger on top and kind of spread it around a bit. What you don't want it to do while it's cooking is to ooze out down the sides because it's like napalm basically. So once you've done that, uh, the cheese. So if you uh, put the cheese on like this, you'll find it'll immediately, as soon as the microwave starts to heat it, run down the sides of your burger and you lose half the cheese. So fold the four corners into the middle like so. Difficult to do it while filming. There we go. And even then you can sort of fold these again like so. Get the uh, bit of cheese there. And like so. So there's a blob of cheese right in the middle. And then as the thing heats it will uh, spread out but hopefully not uh, run all over the uh, all over the sides. Now for the final trick, put that aside, get some skewers and set them like this. Uh, these are just the sort of you know barbecue skewers and put your put your burger on top. Catch that thing. It's easier to do with two hands. There we go. Set your burger on top and then as you can see you can get air circulation underneath and the bottom doesn't get uh, all soggy and red hot. So let's microwave this. Um, it's a reasonably powerful microwave, so I'm going to give it two minutes and uh, we'll see what the result is. So that's the microwave finished. And uh, as you can see, although there's condensation here on the plate, your uh, burger is not sat in that. And, uh, you know, there's no particular overspill. You can leave it for its standing period like this and then uh, hopefully eat it in a less messy way. So I hope that's been of use uh, to those of you that like Rustler's Burgers. All right, thanks for watching.